Yeah. Okay, let's get stock specific and discuss one more stock. We have uh, Keshav Bajanka of Century Ply joining us. Keshav, hi. Thank you so much for making time and speaking mm -hmm. with us. First up, just wanted to understand from you that the channel checks are suggesting that there has been a bit of slowdown in demand given the price hikes that you had taken in Q1 mm -hmm. and Q2. Could you um, corroborate that for us? Is there a bit of a muted mm -hmm. demand scenario? Hi, good morning. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, yes, you know, there has been inflationary pressure, as uh, you have correctly mentioned. But I wouldn't say it's so much of a slowdown. I think demand on the ground is still there. Uh, organized players are doing uh, better than the unorganized players. And us as market leaders have been doing considerably better than uh, than the unorganized sector per se. But um, if you look at uh, demand being as robust as it was in Q2, perhaps not so much, but I'm still confident that Q3 and Q4 will be able to deliver a growth upon last year. Sense regarding the margins because this year has been fairly volatile, whether you look at the timber prices or the other chemicals, resins, etc. If you can tell us what the latest trend is and at least directionally, should we expect an improvement in margins from here on? Uh, I think you know margins are always likely to be a bit muted in the short term due to raw the raw material uh, price inflation. However, uh, being market leaders, we have been able to pass on all uh, the cost increases in the form of price increases. So the guidance that we had given at the start of the year that we should have margins between thirteen to fifteen percent for plywood, fourteen to sixteen percent for laminates, and twenty five percent for both MDF and particle board. I am still fairly confident that we'll be able to deliver and perhaps uh, surpass those uh, those guidelines. MDF, Keshav, we understand is facing challenges due to the rapidly growing imports from Thailand, Malaysia, as well as Vietnam. So how does this all go for the company? Um, I think uh, we right now are about to commence our second uh, line of production uh, in the north. The north is slightly insulated uh, because uh, the, the freight component in MDF is quite substantial. So um, in the south, definitely, there will be an impact. But in the south, you have the advantage of lower raw material cost as compared to the north. So I think imports do pose a challenge, but not to us in the immediate future. Next year, once our south production unit, uh, our Andhra unit, uh, comes into production in H2, I think from then onwards, uh, imports could definitely pose a challenge, but uh, we are capable of uh, dealing with the same. Given that timber prices are at elevated levels, are you looking at any price hikes? Not at the moment. I think currently, uh, you know, over the course of the past year, MDF prices have all uh, have almost shot up, I would say, 20-30%. So given that increase, currently there are no future price hikes in the offing, at least as of now. So given that things are so fluid right now, Keshav, what is it that you plan to do about your CapEx allocation? And I believe 1,000 crore rupees is what you had earmarked for the next two to three years, right? It's actually uh, a little higher now because uh, we have also decided on the particle board unit uh, in uh, to be set up in Chennai going forward. Uh, I think you know, this is a short-term scenario. Long-term, I don't see any issue with any of the product categories. And uh, as you know, uh, laminates and plywood have been doing fairly well. Uh, MDF and particle board perhaps could have a couple of quarters where the margins would be lower, then there will be quarters where the margins will be higher. But long-term sustainable margins for both should be to a tune of 25%. So we are continuing with our keep expands exactly as, uh, as uh, we had uh, committed. And uh, thankfully, our internal cash flow generation is very, very strong. So we'll be able to commission these plants primarily out of internal accrual. So given that uh, you do foresee some demand challenges uh, mm -hmm. come next year, first half, are you still confident of achieving that 20% mm -hmm. revenue target of uh, in FR23? Uh, yes, definitely. We are going to try and surpass that. And Keshav, you also had a revenue target of 5,000 crore by FY26. Uh, what's the chance that you would likely uh, hit that even before FY26? <laughs> you asked me a very difficult question. Uh, but as per all the internal calculations that uh, we have done, uh, we will definitely hit it in FY26, uh, perhaps uh, somewhat sooner. But uh, it's, it's a little early to, to comment on that right now. 
have also a lot uh, a large part of the revenue growth in the last year has been driven because of the prices as you mentioned that you had taken some hikes could you talk to us about how volume is expected to grow and segment wise whether in terms of plywood laminates etc what kind of rev- uh, volume growth should we expect in fy23 you see we are little handicapped in mdf and uh, particle board because of capacity so we were practically running at full capacity in both those divisions but in plywood and laminates and uh, the new capacities have already been announced so going forward we will get the benefit of those capacities and operating leverage once the new units come uh, into production uh, for plywood and laminates i think we'll have a double digit value, uh, volume growth this year as well and uh, going forward uh, we are bullish that we'll be able to accelerate that going forward just before we let you go you are talking about additional capacities coming up but just wanted an update on hosharpur is it delayed a tad bit because the early expectation is it will start by november itself yes it is slightly delayed i think uh, we should have the first board out within the next 15 days the commercial production from next month okay keshav great speaking with you and in case we don't speak again he is wishing you festival greetings and a happy new year from all of us Thank you and wish you the same. Okay, another ETNA exclusive then.